In the network, which has been presented in the previous video, we want to consider two cases. In the first case, host D in the subnet 122.64 wants to send data to host C in the subnet 122.32. Host D knows its subnet mask 255, 255, 255, 224 and compares its IP address with the one of host C on the basis of this length value. It notices that the subnet IDs are not the same. Therefore, it takes a look at the routing table if there is an entry for the subnet 122.32. However, there is only an entry for standard router. The datagram is sent to the known standard router R2. R2 determines that the destination is in an attached network and can directly provide the datagram. In the second case, host B wants to send a datagram to host C. At first, B notices that the datagram has to be forwarded to another network. B uses the first 27 bits for his routing table lookup and determines the router which can be used to reach the network 122.32. The datagram is sent to the interface of R2 with the IP address 123.4. R2 can then directly provide the datagram to host C.